Hello everyone and welcome back. I've got this old Norway pine here that finally died off. It's still uh, cool out in spring. I want to get this dropped and then some of this wood I'm going to slab to make a kitchen table for the upcoming new cabin. I'm going to try to drop this tree so it doesn't hurt those trees much and doesn't hurt this telephone thing right here so I'm going to try to drop it right in between there. That didn't go too bad. It didn't even hurt the driveway. A bunch of this I'm just going to cut up into firewood, but like I said, I do want some slabs for that kitchen table. the rings on this and it was 53 years old. Well, I got this one slabbed on two sides and then from here I'll probably bring it up by the workshop and finish cutting it up when, whenever I feel like it. What I really need to do is get those big slabs out of there but all I'm doing is <laughs> putting it off. It takes so long without a ripping blade to do that and I have to set up my top ladder thing on top and uh, but I think I'll go in and have some lunch and after lunch I'll get these slabbed up. Well, I have these two right here now that we just did. And I have this one here that I did last night. I was thinking about keeping that raw edge on there, not on the center part, but down here, but now I'm not really sure. And since I want to keep all of my options open, I set this back up now on another log and I'm going to cut one more slab.
this wide of a log is the max I can go with that size chainsaw bar. So to help out, because you can't really do anything unless you can move it, I'm going to take some of this bark off. That'll gain me about an inch. I think since I have everything set up, I think I'm going to cut one more slab because that would make nice benches or anything. So, <laughs> I hate to, but one more time. Well, there we go. They're all in here now and they can sit here and dry. I got birch over there, got these new pine slabs, that's aromatic cedar, that stuff's been cut for at least 15 years. Over here I've got all the cherry I've been doing this year now. Well, I decided today to get some of these. These are spruce right here. I'm going to need legs on this table. I'm going to need some cross member pieces. And I realize you guys haven't seen a picture of what the table will look like. At the end of this video, I'll post a picture of this sort of the idea. Not so sure on the chairs yet, but at least on the table. But so I've got these peeled. Now these were green. These will more be for cross pieces, but you can look a little trick if you're ever peeling your own logs you can see down here right there that's just raw lumber there's nothing left on there and then you get up here and this is that cambium their second layer if you leave that on you get a lot more options here you just get raw wood you stain it it's done if you leave this on as the log dries like this one here has already dried a few hours it really gets on there tight and then when you sand it you can sand it in blotches to give it a different look I guess I'll have to show you that more. I did that in the log bed, and uh, and when by the time we get done with this table, you'll see what I mean. Back here behind the workshop, I've got all these logs that are peeled and stuff like that. And what I really like is when you get these bug eaten, like this is all done by bugs. So I actually have enough almost for all the legs but I'm going to show you how I do this. If you take and cut your logs and then just go ahead and throw them in a pile and leave them for a year and the bugs will come in here and do the job for you. You can see the tree shavings from them doing their job in there right there and I'll show you how easy this is to peel once they've done their job. just see all that wood shavings and stuff like that and they just carve all those little things and then I'll get this cleaned up a little bit once I get it all peeled and I'll show you There you can see it a little better. It's hard to see now because this is all just wet from the weather right now. But and once you get the bark off, the bugs are gone. Here you can see it a little bit, a little better right there. 
But the neat thing is when you lightly sand this, then this part here, the high part, sands smooth and that uh, stains up light. And down in here, it remains rough, so you get a darker stain there. So you really get a nice contrast. I decided to keep these, I don't know what you want to call them, half rounds or whatever. I think I can make a couple of nice benches out of those. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching chapter one here on the cabin kitchen table. It'll be a while before we can do anything else, but at least everything that we had to get done so it could dry is done. So I will see you guys on the next video and eventually we'll come back to this.